Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So it looks like Microsoft has started to try and improve the performance of Windows updates on both Windows 10 and 11. And if we just head over to Windows Update, as many of you know, there are a couple of different updates which roll out uh, to the Windows operating system. And those are mainly your feature updates, which currently in Windows 10 roll out twice a year. And um, on Windows 11 currently uh, roll out once a year. And then you get your quality updates, your cumulative updates for Windows 10 and 11, which are known as the Patch Tuesday updates, which roll out uh, mainly on the second Tuesday of every month. And these updates are downloaded and installed automatically and are mandatory updates. So uh, they are not optional. These will be downloaded and installed automatically. And the only way you can try and um, stop these from updating is to pause the update for seven days. But normally this isn't enough time because that'll expire before the next update rolls out. Or you can go to your advanced options, pause updates, and you can select a date further on down the line, which gives you um, temporary pause updates for, from being installed on this device for up to 35 days. So that's normally what most users do who don't want to install the quality updates. And then your other updates are called your optional preview updates, which um, are optional updates where you have the choice to install the update. They won't be downloaded and installed automatically. And these optional updates appear under other updates. And here's an example, cumulative update preview for Windows 10, and that's also 11. Now, the only problem now is if you pause or skip these updates according to Microsoft, this can result in a backlog of updates and increase the size of the Windows update packages. And now um, Microsoft says for better performance of Windows update, they have started uh, to remove older quality updates from uh, their update servers. And these updates will now um, show up as expired updates and this is just an example of that. You can see it expired, and that was KB5003690, which was released on the 21st of June 2021. So this, this, up, this quality update has already expired. Now, the reason for this is Microsoft says this can improve the performance of Windows updates and reduce, reduce the update cache size um, on their servers. And the older updates will then eventually be replaced with newer updates and according to Microsoft, this now will result in shorter scan times when you are looking for updates in Windows updates on uh, both Windows 10 and 11. And an expired package, they say, will not show up in Windows update after it has expired. And if we just read here under important, this KB is no longer available for from Windows update, the Microsoft update catalog or other release channels. We recommend that you update your devices to the latest security quality update. The latest security quality update is cumulative and contains all the addressed issues in this update. So it doesn't mean because you haven't installed the update, you will miss out on any bug fixes or security fixes. Those are all bundled into the latest quality cumulative update. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.